I'm sad like who's that knocking at my window? My window. They say that it's the money, I'm like tenfold. Oh, That's the gonna make you up like a limbo. She says she not a she and hey. Hello everybody, I'm Jonathan Coachman, and this is Super Bowl Sunday on EA Sports. Straight ahead, we've got a terrific matchup on tap between the Atlanta Falcons and the Los Angeles Chargers. With that, it's time for Super Bowl 54, and we'll send you now to Miami, standing by to call their fourth Super Bowl together. Here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Okay, Coach. Well, the road ends here. It has been a wild, often unpredictable 2019 season. And now it's time for the greatest spectacle in all of sports. Super Bowl 54 from Miami. You know, this town has played host to 10 Super Bowls in the past. And tonight, we write chapter number 11. And what a matchup we've got. Tonight, it's all on the line. We play for the Lombardi Trophy. Alongside my good friend, Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. We are honored to be here for the biggest spectacle in sports, the Super Bowl. Are you ready, partner? I am more than ready, and I love the word you used honored because it is an honor to be here it's a privilege to be here my excitement is just about to burst through the booth i can't wait to do this well and sitting with both of these teams and talking in the meetings and media day and all the hoopla that goes into this there was one common theme they're ready to stop the talking and start playing football yeah they were probably ready a while ago now they can just focus on it it's done the only talking they have to worry about now is post game and they hope that they'll be talking as the winning team. And we'll see. You know both sides come in with a game plan to start. We'll see how the adjustments are made throughout because there are always adjustments in this game. I want to see if they come out conservative, trying to minimize errors, or if they have enough confidence to attack early and try and take advantage of the other team's nervousness. in his 16th NFL season, about to take his first snap in a Super Bowl. His Chargers seem to be on the verge of something back. About a decade ago, had LaDainian Tomlinson leading the way. They could never get over the hump. A series of tough playoff losses over the years. But here he is, trying for the capper to his Hall of Fame career. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. They'll run. This is Melvin Gordon. And he will not make it back to the line of scrimmage with a flag down here to Booth. So they may back up further. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. Rivers going to turn and give this one to his running back, Gordon. And a penalty flag down as he gets only about a yard. And let's listen in on the call. So that one will be accepted. Working out of the gun, Rivers completes it to Benjamin. Five yards on the game's first play, second down. With that, let's check out how the Chargers line up on offense. I don't think it's hyperbole to say that Mike Pouncey is one of the best centers in the league. And to me, he helped usher in that new wave of centers. Agile, able to get to the second level and block people downfield. Able to pull like a guard and get out in front of ball carriers. And pass protects really well. Helps keep his quarterbacks clean. The 
second down play results in a loss of two yards. A pass for negative yardage, obviously no good. Maybe he shouldn't have thrown it, or maybe he shouldn't have caught it. I think we were seeing it at the same time, weren't we? Maybe you let that one go, right? Because you can see the lost yardage about to develop, but that goes against every instinct of a receiver. They're trying to catch everything. So it's really hard to be mad at him and yell at him for trying to make that play. Encroachment, defense. A free five yards as the defense jumps. I know it's an anticipation game for them, but it's also a reaction game, and they reacted poorly on that one. And the penalty helps, but not a whole lot. It's still third and long. From the shotgun, it's Rivers. Complete, Hunter Henry with the ground. And they'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. It'll be a gain of six, and it'll be fourth down. There's an example of good situational football being played by a defense. They understood where the third down play was, the down and distance, and made sure that they didn't get anywhere near that, bringing up fourth down. Yeah, they were sniffing out that marker, didn't want to let him get close to there, and now a likely three and out to start. Yeah, I love the way they rallied to the football and got to him and made sure he didn't give up much run after catch. And the punt team on now as this one's sent away. This will be fielded at the 17. We'll call that a punt of 54 yards. Well struck. And the Falcons will be taking over first and 10. Matt Ryan and the Falcons back after the devastating loss in Super Bowl 51. Though Ryan was terrific in that game. 284 yards, two touchdowns. Though he did have the killer fumble on the strip sack, which was their first turnover that entire postseason. But now Ryan and the Falcons back, trying to get Atlanta their first Super Bowl victory. They'll run for the first time with Devontae Freeman. Joey Bosa in on the stop. And here's the offense now, Charles. Who's the guy you chose to highlight? The tone setter, the guy in the middle, Alex Mack. His return, never good for the opposition. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. The play fake to Freeman. It's Ryan. And that'll be incomplete. Good protection that time, and they couldn't hook up on the long one. Now it's third down. The starters on defense here for Los Angeles. It's really easy to talk about Thomas Davis coming back from multiple knee injuries, but he wants his play on the field to be the story. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. A fake to Freeman. Now it's Ryan. And this will be broken up and incomplete. Now a penalty flag down. And they may be going backward here. So instead of giving them another third down, they'll decline it. Brings up four. Now that's smart football right there. You don't even have to really spend a lot of time considering it. Just know that you're probably going to get the ball back. Good job declining that penalty. And Benjamin seems to be in some pain. You see him there, still down. We'll get an update when we come back to Miami. The Charger drive about to get going. And the last drive, their first drive, three and out. What changes here, if anything? I think it's making sure. And oh, he coughed it up. And the Falcons grab it. Well, he did what he's known for. He made the catch, then he turned into a runner, took the contact, and coughed it up. And all I remember as a player, when they catch the ball, when those acrobatic guys catch it, you have to make them pay sometimes. You have to put it on them, big tackle, knock the ball free, anything you can do to slow them down. So out come the Falcons now. And on the first drive, three and out. And I know that these are professional athletes, but I would imagine sometimes you, you get the nerves at the beginning of a game still, don't you? Those don't ever go away. And typically, what I've heard from guys and what I remember from playing, if you don't have nerves at the start of a game, it's not going to be a great day for you. You're not really ready to play. So finding a way to harness those nerves and not let them affect you in a negative way, that's what all the guys are looking for. Looking to throw on second down. Ryan, and finding the tight end, Hooper. And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. Give him 14 on that one, and a first down. They'll run here with 
Freeman. And he'll take it into the end zone. Touchdown, Atlanta. With the first touchdown of this Super Bowl. As his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. And I'm sure for these guys, a break from the conference championship in the Super Bowl seems so long. To get out here and score that first touchdown has to take some tension out of the game. Oh, I love the point you just made about the gap between. Think about the pressure that is built in the interim. To come out and get the first points in the Super Bowl. Fantastic for the team. Extra point up and good by Tavecchio. And it's now a 7-0 game. Scoring summary. Three-play drive. And it ends in a touchdown run from Devontae Freeman. Now after the touchdown, it's Bosher to kick it away. This is taken at the three. And he'll bring it a few past the 20 to the 23-yard line. Out comes this offensive unit as they get set to take over here. And this is a unit that, to be frank, doesn't look like they've woken up yet. I mean, a punt and a turnover on their first two drives. And I think the game's starting to take shape a little bit now. And I'm going to take it into the basketball world. When you're having trouble scoring or moving the ball in basketball, what do they do? Get it to their best player, right? Find a matchup, create it, exploit it, and try and move the football. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Now it's a bootleg with Rivers. Across the formation, he's got a man. That's Allen. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball in the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Now Rivers going to give it off to Gordon. They find some open field here. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. 20 yards on both of those plays back to back there. They are moving now. It's another first down. Boy, he does it at a high level, doesn't he? Because when I watch him, I think of his vision. Straight ahead, peripheral. Also has that sense of where holes are going to be before they actually open. I think that helps set him apart from many of the other backs in the league. They'll run for the first time with Austin Eckler. And he'll be brought down at about the 25 after a pickup of four. The starting defense for the Falcons. Many people thought Keanu Neal was overdrafted by Atlanta, but they saw his talent and knew that he would fit their scheme perfectly. A hybrid player can play deep in the secondary as a safety, can drop down into the box and also make a lot of tackles, and at times can stay on the field and serve a linebacker role as well. On second down, they'll run with Gordon. He'll have a first down inside the 10. A gain there of 21 yards. They've done a pretty good job containing him up until this drive, and until that run, there was no containing him at all. Yeah, you're right about that. He finally popped free. But we didn't have to be in their practice sessions. We didn't have to be in their meeting rooms. They planned for a run like that to happen, maybe a couple of them. But what did they tell their guys all week? You know what they said. Move on to the next play. That one just happened. Let it go. They come out here in the eye. A first red zone opportunity here for the Chargers. They've got a first and goal just inside the five. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Los Angeles. Taking it in from four yards out as his guys are on the board here in this first quarter. Well, they weren't messing around. First and goal, they don't do anything fancy. They just go to the fullback right away. I like how you phrase that because oftentimes they come back to the fullback when it's late in the down and distance count, right? In this case, first down, let's go get it right now. And he got it. Six points on the board. Extra point by Badgley, up and good. And we are tied at seven. That time, a six-play drive. And it results in a four-yard touchdown run. So all even at seven now as they kick it away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. 
And he'll take this up past the 20 and down at the 22-yard line. And here now come the Falcons. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. Ryan and the Falcons now come up first and 10 at their own 22. The drive will start with a carry by Devontae Freeman. And he's going to get hit at the line of scrimmage and driven backwards. No gain on the play there. Second down. Throwing on second down. Ryan, he's got Freeman here. It's complete. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. It's a first down on a gain of 10. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Now Ryan. Complete to Jones. He was a thousand yard receiver during the regular season and that's his first catch of this Super Bowl and he picks up the first down. I don't care who you put on him, he's gonna be a handful of one-on-one -on -one throws. Yeah, right now, you're right. They're in man-to-man, -man, maybe need some safety help. I would say that'd be a good idea. Double team him somehow. I'm gonna have to make someone else beat me rather than let him shred my defense. First down. It's caught over the middle. Hooper. And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line. Tackled there. 12 yards is the pickup. Good for a first down for the Falcons. Ryan going to give to Freeman on the draw. And not a lot of daylight. Not really any daylight inside as he's going to be stopped right at the line of scrimmage. Brings up second down. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Out of the gun, it's Ryan. And he will find Ridley, that's complete. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers 26. the offense with a first and ten and he's four for four now throwing the ball to start the drive Edo Smith his first carry they get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six on second down here's Smith and he'll be brought down somewhat awkwardly here and a late flag as well I think this one's going to be a face mask Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag, but you caused the play. You did it. I had to. So now then the penalty's got him set up with a first and goal. Ryan. And this is caught for a Falcon touchdown. Luke Steiker. There to make the grab. And the Falcons have taken the lead. And a play fake down near the goal line here worked out well. Anytime you can make them think that you're going to run the ball, they can go to that play action pass. You see the end result, usually a touchdown. Is that harder? Is the play fake harder to defend for the defense near the goal line or no? Because there's not as much room to work with. It is harder because down near the goal line, you're thinking much more of a running play, especially if people run out big formations. So it is harder to defend. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. And the end result, an Atlanta touchdown. After the touchdown, it's Bosher to kick it away. This is fielded at the goal line. And there is a flag as he's brought down right at the 25-yard line. But who's this going to be against? Defense. So that flag will cost him 15. And it doesn't matter anymore how you get the face mask. Any part of it is going to be 15 yards. 
The Charger drive about to get going. They trail early on in this Super Bowl as they come up first and 10. Now they run from the gun with Gordon. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. On second and nine, Rivers. It's Williams on the catch. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons' 32-yard line. That's an excellent read right there. Saw cover one. That means it's just a single high safety. So you know if you throw the ball to the outside part of the field, help is going to be a little bit late getting there. And he puts one out there for a big-time completion. Rivers now already over 100 yards passing in just this first quarter. It's first and 10. From the gun, Rivers. They'll get the first down and more inside the 20. And finally taken down at the 20-yard line. That one good for 13 and a charger first. Now Gordon on first down. Gordon loses the football. It's loose. And the Falcons grab it. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Often on fumbles, you look at the guy who coughed it up and say, geez, what did he do? But hey, let's tip the cap to the defense here. Not a problem at all, my man. I'm not going to tip it. I'm going to doff my cap to him. Congratulations. Big time play. Knocking it free and creating something good for your team. Here comes the Atlanta offense now, ready to take over here. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. Now left side on the swing pass, and he'll lose yardage on this one back to the 13. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. Well, they try to swing it out left into the flat. Complete, but really nice open field tackling. And they played that one like a great boxer. They were on their toes on that one. They weren't back on their heels reacting to the play. No, they saw it, came right for it, and made a nice tackle for lost yardage. The loss of three on that first down pass play. Now second and 13. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. Now Ryan on second down. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means he'll need to come up with something here on third down. In trouble, and the ball's out. It's in the end zone loose. And this will be gathered up in the end zone, and that's a defensive touchdown. And what we just saw, very, very rare. We only had five of those in the first 50 Super Bowls. The biggest stage, the biggest game, and we just saw it happen again. Extraordinary. The defense has been good, and they were good again there. Badgley on for the extra point. And we've got a good one brewing. We're all knotted up at 14. So not only the cough up, but then the pick up on the other side, the scoop, and the score the other way, the fumble return for a touchdown. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. This will be taken in at the one. And he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards, up to the 27-yard line. Now the Falcons offense, they get ready to head back out here. And they've got to be still reeling from the events of a moment ago. What a turn on that last play. You're knocking on the door. You're about to take it in. You think you're going to get some points on the board. Instead, you cough it up and watch them take it the rest of the way to the opposite end zone. That's a two-score swing that you just gave up. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 
It's a gain of 16, first down Falcons. Tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line. They didn't just gash him there. They blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through. And if he comes back to the huddle, he better be giving them a whole lot of credit and thanking them for that much space to rumble. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Staying on the ground. This time it's Smith. Oh, it's out. Smith lost it. And picked up by the Chargers. And the return comes to a halt right at the 44-yard line. to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. And a fumble last time. Ball security. Talk about it all the time in the National Football League. They've got to be under pressure and he'll go down. They'll sack him on what ought to be the final play of this first quarter. Joey Bosa in there for the sack on what will be the final play of this first quarter. start 14 all the score on EA Sports second quarter now Falcon football as they've got it with a second and 13 forthcoming so after the sack they'll come up on a still manageable second and 13 now it's Ryan firing quickly here and that's complete it's a pickup of 12 and that'll set up a third down On the carry, it's Olison. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. I know they want to go for it here, and I know that their fans want them to go for it, but listen, I'm going to play head coach right here and look at the facts. Tie game, plus, even if you get the first, you still got a half a field to go. I'll go ahead and punt the football myself. Here's Matt Bosher now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. And that'll hit in the end zone. Much too much leg there. That'll be a touchback. The Falcons' defense gearing up as they take the field. And for their efforts so far, they deserve a little defensive montage here. I like that. I like how you recognize what they're doing out there and how much fun they're having because that's indeed what's going on. Beating them to the punch just about every snap now. Swarming, swooping, taking the ball away. This is a lot of fun to watch. Opportunistic, right? Uh, very much so. And he's going to be taken oh, down here with a penalty offense. flag on the field. Let's so apparently breathe. some grabbing of the jersey there on the O-line. Yeah, just look in the interior, and that's where the penalty occurred. From the gun, Rivers. That's complete. It's Gordon. Call it a gain of 12, but of course not a first down due to the previous penalty. From the 22, here's second and eight. Here's Gordon. Up from his linebacker spot, Deion Jones making the play. On third down, Rivers. Yeah, he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. You hear the calls for a penalty, but I just don't think so. I think in this situation, the defender was making sure his guy couldn't hold on to the football. So I don't see anything to warrant the flag. No, I'm with you. There was contact, but I'm happy they kept that flag in the back pocket. Here's Ty Long now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. <laughs> and 
And that'll be put in the books as a 53-yard punt. And possession will switch hands first and 10. Atlanta now coming out on the field. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you've called before, realize it hasn't worked go to somewhere, something else. and maybe try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players, and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. Good coverage that time by Derwin James. Play action, Ryan. And he can't escape the pressure. Ryan goes down. Joey Bosa able to get in there yet again. That's already three sacks for him here in his first half of football. And that's his third sack, and that ties a Super Bowl record. Makes me think of my old college teammate, Reggie White. He had three with the Green Bay Packers in Super Bowl 31. Darnell Dockett of Arizona, Super Bowl 43. And Coney Ealy, three sacks for the Panthers against Denver in Super Bowl 50. All those sacks, they've only been an official record since Super Bowl 17. I know it's believed that L.C. Greenwood unofficially had four way back in Super Bowl 10. Wearing those golden high tops as well. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. So a change of possession here on the punt. And it'll be Charger football here as they take over. Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means they're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Well, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. 17 yards for the Chargers there as they've got themselves a first down. And there they went crossing route against the zone defense. What do you think of that? It takes real coordination between the passer and the receiver because you've got to read those zones and where the open spots are and be on the same page with the guy throwing the football because sometimes you're throwing it in front of the zone sometimes you're throwing it between the zone sometimes the receiver's going to just kind of find a spot and what we call sit down and present himself to the quarterback and throw it there it's a tough read but when they're in sync it's really effective desmond trufant there making the tackle from just shy of midfield Rivers, and he slings one that's incomplete. He was looking for his tight end, Hunter Henry, and it's third down. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. It's complete to Williams. His second catch in the Super Bowl, and it's good enough for a first down. now here's first and 10 at the 44 yard line operating from the gun rivers and he's going to be hit and taken down back right around the 48 yard line tack mckinley it'll go as a loss of about eight as he gets in there to drop him and no matter what the situation, the O-line just hates that because they feel like they didn't protect little brother back there, right? Man, that's just so difficult for them because just think about every single play. When you decide to throw the football, you're dealing with some of the best athletes on the planet. You talk about guys, if they weren't playing football, they'd be starring in the NBA at power forward. It's really a difficult task. Gotta imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. They run it here with Gordon. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. They'll wind up losing three. And now it's third down. Anytime you call an inside running play, you just know there should be a lot of congestion there. You're counting on your offensive line to take control of the line of scrimmage. That didn't happen in this case. And that play got bottled up.
Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. Rivers, he's airing it out for Williams. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. So it looked like they were getting ready to convert there on third down, but what an effort to get his hand on that one, knock it away, and brings up a fourth down decision. Here's Ty Long now, as he's on to punt for L.A. And this one hits at the one, continues on into the end zone for a touchback. Now the Falcons offense gets ready to head back onto the field and hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your fate. Leverage guys, win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, you start to win first down. You win second down. And guess what? You start accumulating first downs. And that's what they need in order to not punt the ball again. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. It's a game of 11 and the Falcons pick up the first. Pardon, if you want more carries, I think we saw how you get them. Sure that he's got the fresh legs, and he picked up the first down on that run. Don't just ask for him. Show him that you're supposed to get the football. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. To throw is Ryan. He's got green. And it's a fumble. And picked up by the Chargers. And he's got Rome. And they're going to score on the fumble return. Touchdown. And what we just saw, very, very rare. We only had five of those in the first 50 Super Bowls. The biggest stage, the biggest game, and we just saw it happen again. Extraordinary. The defense has been good, and they were good again there. Here's Badgley now to try to add the PAT. It's up and good, and that'll make the score 21-14. The scoop and score, always an exciting play in football, and we witnessed it there, grabbing it off the ground and then rumbling it into the end zone for six. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll make it across the 20 as his guys will set up shot at the 23-yard line. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. You can count his carries on one finger. They've only given him the rock one time, Charles. What gives? So we can't draw any conclusions just yet. He has to touch the ball multiple times in order to get into a rhythm and have a chance to have success. You know who else gets into a rhythm? The offensive line. They feel better about what they're doing when they know they've had multiple opportunities to get it done. Yeah, well, the conclusion we can draw so far, they're losing here in the second quarter. Let's see if they change tunes. It's a loss of 10 yards on the play. They go play action here on first down. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. Now Ryan. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And at his size, he's a smaller back. You can get him to football. He can kind of get lost, make someone miss. It's good for him. Yeah, it's great for him. I like what you said there. Sometimes he gets lost in the traffic a little bit. But get him out in the open field into some space. That plays to his strengths the best and keeps him out of it where all the big boys are. You know, make him make someone miss in the open field. Certainly not what they wanted there. No gain, and it's fourth down. 
The defense loves to hang their hat on that, don't they? You get a guy that catches the ball, but you stop him for no gain. Without a doubt, because they're also used to trying to catch people after the catch, and they miss. And that turns into what? a huge play. We've seen it so many times. In this case, though, catch was made, put down right on the spot. The punter Bosher on now as he gets this one away. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. There again is the running back as he trots onto the field. We're in the second quarter. They've got the lead. The lead, though, not so much because of the ground game, because of their air attack, Charles. So what they're seeing so far is the possibility of things loosening up later in the ground game. Through the air first. Maybe they have to start respecting that even more as the game goes on. And then there will be running lanes to find later. Yeah, try to get him more involved here on this drive, maybe. A throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. On second and ten, Rivers gets it to Gordon. Give him nine on the play, and that is going to set up a third and one. Came up a little short on the last pass play. They did get nine yards out of it. Leaving him with his third and one. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. They only get two there, but on third and one, that's all they needed to keep the drive going. And they really needed to get something going, didn't they? They had punted on the last two possessions. The running game starting to come to the front for them, providing a nice pickup there to keep this drive going. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Running on first down, Eckler. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Now a tenth carry for Melvin Gordon. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. They go back to Gordon here on first down. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. A gain there of 12 yards and a first down L.A. Now this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack. And guess what he's doing? First of the secondary guys have to make a lot of tackles. From Falcon territory now, here's first and 10 at the 39-yard line. Rivers, he leaves to Eckler on the draw. A gain of three, second down. Two minutes even on the clock in the first half of Super Bowl 54. Coming up at halftime, I'll go from one personality, that's you, Charles Davis, to another one in Orlando, the coach. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL. You and Jonathan Coachman, both larger than life. No doubt about it. But you're stuck with me in this booth, and he's miles away and smiling. And happy. Throwing Rivers. He's got his man. It's Williams. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons' 23. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. now 13 out of 17 throwing the ball he's got a first down now rivers and this is incomplete keenan allen the intended receiver that'll bring up second down rivers incomplete on first down here's second and 10. throwing again rivers complete hunter henry with the grab and they'll bring him down at the 18 yard line and the Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. The last play on the completion got them half of what they needed. Now here's a tough third and five to throw Rivers. He's got Allen and brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. Now the Chargers will use the second of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Two of their three red zone trips so far they've come up empty on. They'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. 
They'll try again here from the seven on second and goal. Rivers again. And that is caught, but the back judge right there to say incomplete. He was looking for Travis Benjamin that time, but now it's third and goal. Third and goal for Rivers. This is Gordon on the dump off. Now the Falcons going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. So on fourth down, on comes the Charger kicker, Michael Badgley. From the left half, should be a fairly easy one here. Badgley's kick is good. And that will push the lead up to double digits now at 10. Now that drive just seemed to go for an eternity. I could kind of hear our sponsor saying, hey, we need to get our product pushed here. <laughs> but then it ends in a field goal. Yeah, how about that? Not enough time for product placement, but plenty of time to get three points out of the deal. <laughs> I know that the guys on defense, though, they want to get those products out there. They want to stop that drive, just weren't able to do so. And all that worked, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he's simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. Matt Ryan in the offense heading back onto the field. Been a decent start for him here in this first half, but bottom line, his team's losing. They got to fix something. And it starts with him. He has to keep that little quarterback strut going right now to make sure that his team sees him as confident. Continue to try and up his game. But just let them know, hey, if I'm around, if I'm the one calling signals and throwing the football, just follow me, we'll get there. Sometimes that will do more to elevate a team than anything else. See if he has that confidence. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Now it's Ryan. He's got some and he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Falcons going to use their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. Here's Ryan to throw. This complete to Jones. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. It's a gain of 11, and the Falcons pick up the first. Well, sometimes it doesn't appear like much. The out route can be very dangerous when you throw it to a guy like Julio Jones. If you try and undercut it, he can turn to a big play. But the reason he's able to get it so often is because of his ability to push people deep, and they have to respect that. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. What a season this has been. Hard to believe it ends tonight, as we'll get back to you guys for the second half of this Super Bowl in just a moment. Meanwhile, in our game, no shortage of offense as each team has been able to move the ball effectively. Will the defenses show up in the second half? To find out, we give it back to our commentator, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. This is fielded at the goal line, and he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. Here comes the Atlanta offense now, ready to take over here. They have the ball here for the inaugural drive of the second half. Pretty big deficit, though. We'll see what adjustments were made in that locker room. And I never want to make something more important than it actually is, right? I don't want to create more hype than what is there. But this is a real, I'm doing it, though. This is a really important drive. And we often talk about teams scripting plays to start a game. A lot of them script to start the second half, too. And they're scripting something that they expect to get them into the end zone and back into this game. We'll see if that script is a good one for him. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down, keep the sticks moving. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. So the offense a little antsy. The flag comes out and a five-yard penalty. That'll make it first and 15. A full start backs him up five. First and 15. Here's Ryan. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. Give him two yards on that play, and it'll bring up a second and 13. On second down, it's Green. He'll take this from the 40 up to the 45 for a gain of five. 
These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Now Ryan. And he can't escape the pressure. Ryan goes down. Joey Bosa, he's the culprit, causes a loss of five, and it brings up fourth down. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. Here's Matt Bosher now. He's been terrific so far. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. And that hits at the six and carries into the end zone for a touchback. Now a look at the Chargers offense. They get ready for their first possession of the second half. They were able to get the ball back here, didn't surrender any points. Now they'll look to add to that lead. Now how about the boost the defense gave them? Going right out on the field, shutting them down, not giving up any points, and turning the ball back over. They want to do their part now and show them a little respect and some gratitude by scoring some points. And to get a little more cushion. That 180, black 15. Following the penalty, here's Gordon. And flags come in as he gets forward for about three yards. And let's check on the call. So that's going to push him back half the distance. From the shotgun, it's Rivers. And that'll be knocked away. It's incomplete. It was Ricardo Allen there on the coverage. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. To throw is Rivers. And seeing nowhere to throw, he chucks this one away from Harm. Incomplete. Now it's third down. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Here's Rivers. In trouble, and the ball's out. It's in the end zone loose. And this will be scooped up in the end zone. The defender gets there, and it's a touchdown. And what we just saw, very, very rare. We only had five of those in the first 50 Super Bowls. The biggest stage, the biggest game, and we just saw it happen again. Extraordinary. The defense has been good, and they were good again there. Tavecchio to add the PAT. It's up and good, and this now becomes a 24-21 ball game. So not only the cough up, but then the pick up on the other side, the scoop, and the score the other way, the fumble return for a touchdown. So here's the kickoff now as they'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. This is taken at the three. And he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards, up to the 27-yard line. Melvin Gordon and the Chargers ready for their next possession. And there are the numbers. Got off to that torrid hot start. We thought he was in for maybe a career day. Not the case. No doubt about it. It almost looks like a misprint after what we saw in the first half. But let's give a little bit of credit to the guys on our side of the ball. They went in at halftime, made a few adjustments. And you know what else? They didn't lose their confidence in how their ability to play. Because a lot of times you get beat down in the first half, it gets ugly in the second half. They've come out with a new resolve and a renewed determination. The Charger drive about to get going. They'll be looking to make amends for the events of a moment ago. A fumble return for six points. You absolutely have to protect the football. That's got to be priority number one because margin for error is starting to slip away. Now it's down to a one-score game. Now they'll try to convert on third and six after the four-yard completion. Rivers. Got a man. It's complete. Williams. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. 
And a quick slant, good for eight and a first. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz scheme. And you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven. Leaves him with a second and three. They'll keep it on the ground. This time it's Gordon. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. That one, a first down pickup of eight. They're trying to show that they can run the ball, protect this lead, give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. So following the run by Gordon, here's first and ten. Working out of the gun, Rivers. Benjamin's got it. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down, second and right at a yard. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Gordon. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. From the 29, Rivers, and he whips that one incomplete there. This will be the eighth play of the drive here, third and four. Play fake to Gordon, now Rivers. And able to find Green. His first catch of this Super Bowl, and it'll be good for a first down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Rivers now, perfect since the second half started. Seven of seven, it's first and 10. From the red zone now, Rivers. And this is complete. It's Allen. And a good gain here of nine from the 19 down to the 10. Give him nine there on the first down completion. On second down now, it's Gordon. And he loses the football a second time. And the Falcons grab it. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. All I know, partners, that with every play call that came in, there was a little discussion about, hey, we can seal this bad boy. We can really put ourselves in a great spot to take total control, and yet they find a way to cough it up. Yeah, the two-score game opportunity eludes them, and now a chance for the other side to come back here. Yeah, that means defense has to go out there and make some plays themselves. So we call sudden change. Let's see if the defense is mentally ready to take care of it. They'll start on the ground. It's Edo Smith. He'll have a first down and more past the 20 as they'll finally stop him at the 23-yard line. 17 yards and a first down for Atlanta. Although his reputation as a speedy runner precedes him, it's always fun to watch him work. It is eye-opening, isn't it? Because when you see him get the ball and just go, in addition to that speed, it helps out his blockers. They don't have to hold blocks for long because he's just going to speed right past them. They keep it with Smith on first down. And he loses the football a second time. And picked up by the Chargers. And he'll take this down inside the 15-yard line. We just saw the dilemma for every coach. You want him to fight for the extra yardage, but somehow continue to cover the football. Oftentimes, when you fight that hard, the ball becomes exposed. And defensively, it's obvious they're trying to be more aggressive. First tackle a little too aggressive. Second one, though, they strip it loose. 
Melvin Gordon now, he and the offense, they trot back out there. And this has been a game of contrast somewhat, as you see. He's had success moving the ball on the ground. That fumble on the last drive, though, that's now two that he's lost in this game. And that's where it really hurts. It makes things difficult on the coach because you mentioned the success he's having, yet if he keeps turning it over, it negates all of that success. Take care of the football, and he's headed for a big game. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Play fake, Rivers. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. They had great starting position to begin the drive, and now they look up at a third and five. From the gun, Rivers. That's complete, it's Gordon. And he's able to work it here to the eight yard line. Call it a one yard gain on the play, and that's gonna bring up a fourth down. What hallmark of good defenses? It's understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. Now Charger kicker Mike Badgley on fourth down, coming out to try the field goal. From the right hash, and this one just a chippy. Badgley able to knock this one through, and that will add three more to their lead. It pushes it up to six. So they recovered the fumble, but ultimately could not take advantage of the short field. Definitely a lost opportunity right there. I mean, they were in prime position to put six on the board. Ended up settling for three. This is taken at the three. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Here are the Falcons as their offense heads back onto the field. And last time they coughed it up, led to a field goal. They're fortunate that it only led to a field goal, but still, they're not happy about it. Could you sense the relief, though, when they only gave up the field goal? And they were able to trot back out on the field and start this drive a little more pep in their step because it didn't cost their team a touchdown. But they know they've got to do it a lot better than they did on the last possession. The coach will just be relieved, though, if they recoup with a score here, right? I think the coach will be ecstatic to see them pick themselves back up and now take it downfield, punch in the end zone without turning it over. Three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up, and then some on second and 13. Again, it's Smith. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. And he will find Ridley. That's complete. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. Did you see that route the way that I did? I yeah. thought he was trying to get deep. Yeah, that first. wasn't the first option. No, not the, it came off of that guy, the deep guy. He came underneath on the drag, completed it very well. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Out of the gun, it's Ryan. Here's Sanu on the catch. That throw good for four. It's second down. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second six. Throwing quickly, that's caught by Sanu. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. Again, Ryan. The open man is Smith. And he will have the first down as he gets this to the 47. Nine yards on the pick up there, and it keeps the drive alive. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They've become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Ryan in the offense with a first and 10. And he's four for four now, throwing the ball to start the drive. And this pass complete, Ryan finding Hardy. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. 15 yards, first down Atlanta.
try to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. One quarter remains here in the Super Bowl. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. On the draw, this is Smith. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. They go back to the ground with Smith. Tackle made by Adrian Phillips. The Falcons on third down. They've converted a third of their opportunities, three for nine. This time they face a third and two. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. Those passes out that far wide always make you hold your breath a little bit. Felt like it was in the air for a while. What it does is it allows a defender to gain some ground, come from a long distance, and have a chance to affect the pass. If they're going to have a shot in this Super Bowl, they're going to need this one on fourth down. They're going on fourth down. It's Ryan. And no, it's incomplete. Dan Quinn's guys unable to come through there on fourth down. And the Charger defense stands tall and they get the football back. So the defense has to stay out and get one more stop. They were able to do it, forcing the incompletion. So on their record, that goes down as a successful play. Doesn't matter how they got there, how it happened. They got it done. They're the ones that are jubilant. So Rivers will lead the Chargers up first and 10 at their own 23. Rivers, a quick throw, but incomplete. Rivers incomplete on first down. Here's second and 10. Off the play fake here, Rivers. And he's just going to get rid of this thing. To no one here, he throws it away. And now it's third. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. And the blitz does come. There was the pressure you were talking about, forcing incompletion. And it doesn't always have to end in a sack, does it? Sometimes you can make a good play by forcing the incompletion with the pressure. Give him 15 yards on that one and a charge your first down. Couldn't just sit on it here, could they? Had to throw the ball third down. Got the big completion in the pickup. Fresh set of downs now. They've got to feel great. And defensively a backbreaker. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. They'll throw again. Rivers, open man is Cantrell. Give him 12 yards there, and the Chargers have a first down. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down, stomped down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. Rivers hands off to Eckler, and he's over midfield and into Falcon territory. Two yards on the carry there, it'll be second down. From just shy of midfield, Rivers, and he's got his tight end complete, it's Green. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons' 36. They'll run on first down. Gordon, and I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. It'll be a loss of one, and that'll bring up a second and 11. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it, and the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. Green once again, the intended receiver, and it'll bring up third down. 
Tight end has become a bigger and bigger part of the passing game in the NFL, but if you drop the football, that position you get swapped out with a, a wide receiver in that spot, a running back in that spot. There are other ways they can go if you're not going to catch the ball. And that's not just his first drop, his second drop of the game. And that pickup of the first down, that's going to leave a mark because they really needed to stop them there, didn't they? That's so frustrating. Defensively, you're a play away from getting that football back here down late. Tough. Now they've got to find a way to create a turnover or takeaway. Otherwise, this one will probably get away from them. They go back to the ground now with Eckler. They'll be brought down at the 21 after a pickup of four. Get it, boy. Get it, boy. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Once more, here's Eckler. They'll get it inside the red zone, but only for a couple down to the 19. This offense has converted two third downs on this drive already. This is third and four. From the gun, Rivers, and Allen's got it! And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. He's been the go-to guy, and they needed a big play there on third down. Went his way, it worked out. Doesn't matter whether they scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. First and goal, Melvin Gordon. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. Nothing doing there as the 13th play of the drive proves to be unlucky. Another scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. What that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. Third and goal for Rivers. Defensively, I think they can smell a stop ball right around the five here brings up third. And I think what they've done is they put doubt in the minds of the offensive guys. What do we do? Because now you don't have a go-to play. Either side they pick, throwing it, running it, it won't be easy. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This to make it a two-score game. Badgley able to punch this one through. And that will make this a nine-point lead. So that's a big one. Obviously, Charles makes it a two-score game. His third field goal of the game able to knock it through. Yeah, not exactly free and clear yet, but as a defense, you get to play a little bit looser, don't you? Because you do now have a little bit of a margin of error, don't you? This is taken at his four. He'll bring it back to just about the 25. Call it the 24-yard line. Atlanta now coming out on the field. They had a great drive going last time. They were moving the ball, and then all of a sudden it just stalled out. So we'll see what they can do here, Charles. And it's always easy to second guess when you don't get it on a fourth down try. But they had to like the feeling that they had going on offense. They want to continue to see if they can capture that again on this drive and maybe get in the same position. Yeah, and that's, I mean, like I said, they were moving the football. It's not like they went four and out, so I don't think it's a, a deal where the offense doesn't have confidence. No, I agree with you totally on that one. If, that, if anything, they may have gained more confidence. Okay, they stopped us once. That's all right. Let's keep moving it. Make them do it again. Play and they're already just shy of midfield. Now Ryan. They'll set up the screen to Smith. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. That'll set him back with a loss of three on the play. And that'll make this a second and 13. This possession means so much for them. They've got to focus on this drive and find a way to make this a one-possession game. Yes. Got to get a score. Yeah, so good with a field goal. Don't necessarily need a touchdown. The loss of three on that first down pass play. Now second and 13. To throw is Ryan. Ryan hit, and he lost the football. And this is recovered by the Chargers. 
Brandon, I don't want to violate any of our broadcasting rules by declaring a game over before it's over. But that one, that puts them in real jeopardy there. Absolutely. It was a two-possession game. It is a two-possession game at this stage in the fourth. They needed points out of that drive. And obviously now, no chance at all to get those points that they so desperately needed. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip three, shot field three. goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But let's have to remember, they did put points on the board. Three points is three points. And in this league, you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. To throw, Rivers. Complete, Hunter Henry with the ground. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Rivers now to throw on first down. Allen's got it complete. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. On second down, it's Gordon. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run, got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. Saw it through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. take it all the way down and just take the delay. Offense. That's going to set him back five yards. On, Let's go. Still first down. Now they need 15 Three. yards on this series after the delay of game. First and 15. to throw his rivers and caught by Henry and they'll bring him down at the 13 yard line a gain of six there on first if nothing else they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down now a 20th carry number 20 here for Melvin Gordon and he's going to get about four down inside the 10 to the nine the clock showing two minutes even in what's been a memorable Super Bowl 54. Now this is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. Now Rivers. He'll get this to Eckler. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. You can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of... And he takes it in for a Charger touchdown. A one-yard touchdown reception. For the Chargers, they're able to widen their lead. Well, it'd be real easy to say that they are firmly controlled right now, but I'm looking at your face and I'm thinking I've got to be careful with that. Well, it's a two-score game. You're inside of two minutes. I think you can breathe relatively easily now. Yeah, you can, but still, you got to stay vigilant. Can't give up anything cheap and easy. That could put you in some jeopardy. Working out of the gun, Rivers. And this one's caught. And their fourth quarter lead grows by a couple more. So they elect to pass there on the two-point try. Sometimes it could prove risky there. It worked out. Yeah, and I love how you bring up that it can prove risky because if you get it intercepted and they return it, that's two points for the defense, but not on that play. Following the touchdown, Badgley out there to kick it away. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. 
Here comes the Falcon offense now as they get set to take over here. They're down big here late. I don't know. You just one last drive here for pride. Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge, and someone said, Coach, what do you want to call? He just waved a hand like, who cares? Let's get out of here and do something some other time. But some teams like to do something at the end to feel a little bit better yeah. as, they continue to, as they continue to move forward. Yeah, probably just want to put this one behind them. To throw again on second down. Ryan is going to flip one out here to his running back. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Ryan, a gain of five, good enough for the first down. And that'll be good for eight yards to the 45. Looking to throw again on second down. Ryan, and that going to be incomplete. A lot of contact, no call, and it's third down. After the incompletion here now, third and two. Now Ryan, this is brought in by Hardy. And he gets it down to the 48, enough for the first. Now the Falcons going to use one of their timeouts as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this fourth quarter. Off the play fake to Freeman. It's Ryan. The ball popped in the air and intercepted. Picked off by Nasir Adderley. And the return here will go to the 31-yard line. Well, it wasn't always pretty, but the interception there, that means that they should get out of here with a victory. Yeah, this is not a game that they're going to preserve for posterity on defense, but they did finish it off, didn't they? They did make the winning play to close things out. They'll take that one and head to the locker room. Chargers offense gets set. They head back onto the field. Two timeouts remaining defensively, but that shouldn't make much difference right here. It really shouldn't, but a lot of coaches look at it similar to baseball with the intentional walk. Always bringing in other right? sports. Always, hey, listen, think about the intentional walk, right? What if one gets past the catcher? What if he uncorks a wild one and now you still have an opportunity? That's why they like to use them all the way through. So celebration down on the field for a good, hard-fought victory here. And it's going to be their defense that gets the ink in the headlines tomorrow. And for good reason. They forced five turnovers in this game. And while we were watching this game unfold, I kept thinking about when we did our training camp tour and something that you noticed along the way. Just about every camp we visited, when the defense got together, everyone was doing ball drills. Defensive linemen, linebackers, secondary because they understood how vital it was to take the football away. And they wanted every opportunity. When the ball was knocked free, they want all those guys to be familiar with touching the ball so they could pick up the fumble or get the interception. And we saw it pay off in this one here. Yeah, five times. They'll remember this one. just how everybody wants to end the year holding the Lombardi Trophy what a season for them what a ride it's been for us as well here in the booth for Charles Davis and our entire crew I'm Brandon Gunn thanks for watching everybody we will see you next season right here on EA Sports